this video will be a short tutorial. It's not be a devlog video because I decided to make a tutorial video on Blender. So tutorial, this tutorial video will be showing you how to create a simple terrain. So yeah, let's get started. So we don't need a box actually. So I'm gonna delete this thing and then and we have Shift and A to create a add something. So we were gonna add a plane. So here we go, a plane. Is this a plane? Oh, if you're asking me why I'm using these controls, because my mouse is pretty much broken and I'm clicking the middle button, it's just like, really bad, so, you know, forgive me. And, uh, we're gonna scale this thing up. We'll scale these things up when I use this tool, the scale tool. And then you wanna drag it up like this. Oh, also you can delete the camera and the light, because we don't use it. And now we get something like this. We're going to sculpting. And if you can see, we cannot sculpt anything yet. Right? So what we want to do is to create lines on our planes. So this is how I do it. You can actually use some modifier, but we don't need that. So we're going to press tab. And then we're going to click on this one, the loop cut. And then for this one, the loop cut will actually create you a cut in the middle like this. For the first one, and then for the second one, like this. And now you gotta repeat that. You can make it very, like, so much squares. Okay, now if it looks like this, when you do that, um, you're pretty much perfect. So there will be many cuts like this, and then we're gonna press tab again. To tab out or click on object mode I mean for this if you're like this edit mode click on object mode and then what you want to do is go to sculpting now you can sculpt by clicking on this one you can see you can sculpt you want to make a tall mountain you can do that you want to make it yeah you can do something like this you can sculpt your terrains this way There's many tools that I, you can use, which I prefer using this tool to to delete your terrain or something, and this tool to flatten your terrain, like this. It will smooth your terrain, kind of like this. You can also use this tool. Just make it something like that. And the most tool I use, which is the grab tool, you can grab these things up like that. You can uh, right click and put more radius. So you can grab stuff and do something like this. Pretty, pretty convenient. And then for this one, you can also do that. But yeah, you see the difference. I'll be back when the thing is done, train is done. Okay, I got something like this. Oh, also, you want to make a water patch. You can also pull down. You can see. So you can actually put some water in there. Yeah. And then you can smooth it out. It should be... I make it clearly very simple. And we want to make it low poly. But this is not pretty much low poly because it's pretty weird, right? Yeah, you're right. So... What you want to do is to go to our layout again. So now our plane mesh is like this. Now what you want to add is click on, if it's usually on this side, so you're going to go down and click on modifier properties, add modifier, and then we can add ourselves a decimate. So what this do is to create, or like a triangular one, what this do is create a really cool low poly. Low poly. You don't need you don't you don't need the the triangular one, but you just gonna you can do something like this. So if you just put in zero, it's just gonna be one line, which is not cool. We can go up a little bit, so it really low poly, kind of like this. So I usually put mine like like here. So. If you can see now our p terrain from a yeah from a normal terrain now it's a low poly terrain if you can see very neat and yeah if you want to edit more you can also edit more 
by gold sculpting and then now it will be like this it will getting a sculpt thing like that and it's yep so yeah there we go it's done now to save this thing it's pretty simple so you just kind of control and save or control shift to save so we're gonna find ourselves our um, unity's project by click on your assets and then i have so much things in here and we want to click on for me i'm 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 using the models file so it's right here and we can rename this to be like a uh, terrain and then we can save the blender file by clicking enter and then save blender file and then when you click save this again we can close it okay let me open my unity's project thing okay so we want to implement that so for it's really simple, so I save it in the models file, if you can see, and we're going to find the terrain, which is the terrain of version 3, and we can drag and drop the terrain version 3 in here. And if you can see, it's pretty blue, I don't know why, but yeah, and yeah, you can customize these things, you can right click and unpack prefab, to, and then we can make it bigger using scale tool again you can make it very big <laughs> and then yeah it would be the terrain so for the coloring if you say so we can go assets and I'm, for me i save my materials and the color you just check and drop it in like it's it it's this simple so if you want to get something fancy you want to get some blue color any color you want like you can make it transparent I mean transparent like this okay 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 let's do something so I have this 23rd material the material 23 we're gonna change it from standard change it from standard to something like poly brush and then standard vertex color new master 23 can drag and drop this bad boy in and uh, if you can see it won't it will not attack everything if you use a poly brush oh if you're wondering how we can get the poly brush you can go to windows and then package manager and from here we're gonna wait you can search up poly the poly brush up here and if you're using a URP you can download the URP one if, if you're using an HDRP you can also yeah, do the HDRP one, but I'm using a standard one, so you're just gonna search up standard. So, if you can see, I'm gonna search it poly brush, 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 poly brush. Yeah, just gonna write poly, poly brush. Okay, we can import standard universal RP and then HDRP. I'm gonna import standard which is done then create a new material using an old material and go to shader and go to poly brush and then use the standard vertex color unit or lit vertex color URP or lit vertex color HDRP so when you do that and then you gotta go to window I mean uh, yeah tools and poly brush poly brush windows I'm not gonna go into De these details really much because this is not a polybrush tutorial you can hire a lower terrain here blah 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 but you're not using this because it's a blender tutorial yeah and you can color these by clicking on terrain and then you can click on fill so it will fuel each box if you want this to be black you can just drag it in like something like that or if you want it green you can put green color in here and you can color it or just want to put blue I mean yellow you just put yellow here you can paint whenever you want if you want to put orange I mean gray or something or dark green red 
you can. You can put anything in here. So, yeah, this is it for the tutorial. I hope this is very useful for you for your next game or this the, the game that you're doing. And thank you for watching. See you in the next devlog video. And, yeah, bye.